to my right is Steve Donahue, who is again the consultant and he has, uh, what, 12 or 15 years in the gaming, gaming industry? 15 years in the eye gaming industry. One of the first men I met when I came into this industry. He was a boy just then. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to start with uh, Steve giving us a little bit of an overview of how we got to where we are. And then Peter's going to say what the consequences are when we do have some changes in UK uh, gaming licensing and taxation regulation. I am the Secretariat to the Parliamentary Party Betting and Gaming Group, which is a group of 40 MPs and peers who are interested in the gambling industry. Um, I have to say there are over 2,000 parliamentarians. It would be nice if we had more than about 40 who were interested in gambling. And currently I'm Special Advisor to the Culture, Media and Sport Select Committee Inquiry on Gambling, which is currently looking at the impact of the Gambling Act 2005. I was curious as to why somebody who is the Special Advisor to the Government's Department of Culture, Media and Sport was also given advice to members of the gaming industry at the 2012 London Affiliates Conference. It wasn't until I googled Steve Donahue's name that I really realised the corruption involved in legislation. In 1996 he studied at the University of Salford at the Centre for the Study of Gambling and Commercial Gaming. He took part in the first research into the size of the UK gambling industry. This work was adopted by the UK government as part of their official statistics, but of course, this research was sponsored by Ladbrokes and the Tote. It left me wondering how many other members of Parliament had links into the gambling industry. I'm looking here at the Parliament website and uh, it's a joint committee on the draft of the gambling bill and uh, all the people involved in it have all got a badge for a, for a badge for being a member of the Race Course Association in 2003. Although at least they're getting hospitality from Ladbrokes, the Association of British Bookmakers, Aston Race Course, Plumpton Race Course, the Tote, William Hill. Some of them are getting like. Hospitality, a big football, a finals and things from William Hill, you know, because they're the sponsors. Some of them own gambling companies themselves. Some of them have got friends who are consultants in the gambling industry. So the list goes on. They're all part of these gambling trusts and things like that. I guess I could go on forever. So this is just what's official as well. So. The people making the gambling bill are the people that are in the gambling business. I sent off for a petition which was titled Protect Children from Gambling Promotion. And finally after 12 days it's come through. The description of the petition is We want the government to ban all betting shops from being located in family environments and shopping districts such as town centres, high streets and other places that children and young people are likely to be. Betting shops should be kept out of view of all children and young people wherever possible. Everyone knows it's true. And I'm, <clears throat> it's not a big ask. I'm not trying to ban gambling. I'm not trying to ban betting. It shouldn't be commercialised and normalised. So, the address of the petition is epetitions.direct.gov.uk forward slash petitions forward slash 36386 so you can sign that petition and also a good idea is if you've got a spare five minutes is to is to type gambling or betting shops on the search box on the government petition website and you'll notice that a lot of other people are trying to do other things basically saying the same thing but are typing slightly different petitions so another thing you can do if you've got a spare five ten minutes is sign all their petitions read carefully what you sign in of course though don't just sign anything without reading it send your email address to neuroliberation at gmail.com neuroliberation is all one word neuroliberation at gmail.com and 
there's going to be a blog a look out for it at the end of the film um, and that's what you can do to help and yep send your email and join the campaign and hopefully we can get this moving you can't make it a long life investment for generations and hope for the next generation to get more into gambling than the next. It's Everyone knows the effects, everyone knows there's something not quite right about it. Everyone knows it's a little bit dark and I've kind of mentioned in the video of why it's quite dark. The mental effects and the, the effects on the brain. And, every, you know, people say it is soul-destroying, and it is. You know, some people go and have it as a bit of entertainment, but at the end of the day, keep it away from the high streets. Keep it away from the children. So what are you going to do after this video? And hopefully this thing will grow. And there's a few other people that I want to get involved speaking to. Basically, just more campaigning, to be honest. Um, just try and do some more projects. Is there anything else you want to say to anyone that's watching this video? If you feel strong about the issue, then, like I said before, send your email address to, to neuroliberation at gmail.com. I'm sure if you've started noticing there's problems in your area, um, maybe start a local group or something in your area and highlight the issues. It is a national issue though, I'm afraid, and I'm not sure if it's national at the moment or if it's an EU issue, but local councils don't have the power at the moment, um, but people can start getting together and I'm sure if enough people that represented their own areas actually got together, if they, if they were concerned, then I'm sure it would make like the bigger picture. Thanks to anyone who's watched this video, whether you agree or not on the situation, there's a lot of people getting affected by gambling.